time to visit Bendigo. Famous for its gold rush, Bendigo is now one of the most exciting cultural hubs, full of creativity in every way. Start your trip at the Bendigo Visitor Centre at the old post office building. It is also the home of two galleries, including one dedicated to First Nation artists. Check out Rosalind Park on your way up to Bendigo Art Gallery. This beautiful park is home to some of the most amazing events and festivals. More than 130 years old, Bendigo Art Gallery is one of the best galleries in Australia and has showcased some of the most amazing exhibitions. Did you know Bendigo is Australia's first UNESCO Creative City of Gastronomy? From handmade croissants, aromatic coffee roasters, to award-winning restaurants, every corner you turn is a delicious pocket waiting for you to explore. Did I mention Bendigo's love for heritage buildings? Check out some of the historic buildings repurposed into restaurants, cafes, hotels and more. Eaten too much? Time to go for a walk. And a walk in Bendigo is never boring. You can do a self-guided street art walk or a heritage walk. There are 30 salad doors and seven breweries in and around Bendigo. The wine here is boutique and you get to chat with the people who make them. How amazing is that? What to do at night? Enjoy a performance at the theatres, check out some live music venues, or discover Jara lights, which tell the stories of Jar Jar Rung people, the traditional custodians of the land. I haven't even got to the attractions yet. You have to visit the Great Stupa. It's the largest Buddhist temple in the Western world. Try your hands at wheel throwing at Australia's oldest working pottery. Go underground and explore a gold mine 61 metres under. Ride a vintage talking tram. And meet the world's longest imperial dragon, Dai Gum Lung. So there's a taste of your Bendigo visit. See you soon.